Hey guys, what's up? Pitmar Thor here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. In the last part, uh, we ended up in this very weird place that was all black and white. And today we are going to venture inside and see what lies within. So let's go ahead and head on inside. Hello there. So there's a whole bunch of moblins, a couple of dark nuts. It's still all black and white and it appears that everything is frozen in time. Actually, yeah, it is frozen in time, so. See? So, yeah, nothing there. So if we head over to the center part of this room right here, you'll notice a Triforce symbol on the ground. Alright, I'll need you to listen to me for a moment. Never! The item you seek is hidden somewhere in the castle. To find it, you must find the entrance to the basement. But that entrance has been blocked by a mighty threshold, firmly sealed to prevent evil from ever gaining access. So. What we need to do is get these blocks into that shape. All right, there's one. Yeah, I always found this part of the um I always found this part of the story really weird because there's like no music or anything. It's not all happy and cheerful. So apparently the way to this basement is actually just doing this. So I guess this is trying to symbolize the fact that if evil can't gain access by solving a puzzle, then evil is very stupid, I guess. I'm not really sure what this is. But it's not a hard puzzle. I mean, it's really awkward because of the way the triangles have to be pushed, but it's not hard. It's just awkward. So once you make the Triforce symbol, it will sparkle. And there's the entrance to the basement. So what's down here? Ooh, this looks pretty. Hey. What? <laughs> it was not hard. Whatever. So yes, this is the Master Sword.
You got the Master Sword, this legendary blade with the power to repel evil, once wielded by the legendary hero himself. So that's right, we have obtained the Master Sword in all of its power. Something really cool in this little area right here is if you look, you can see little pictures. You've got like one of the Triforce. And they also have the Sages. This is the Spirit Sage. The Shadow Sage Impa. Fire Sage, the Goron Elder. Another picture of the Triforce. Saria, the Sage of the Forest. The Sage of Light, Raru, the Sage of Water, and another picture of the Triforce. So they got like all the sages on the wall. I always thought that was pretty cool. They brought that back from uh, Ocarina of Time, which, you know, a lot of the games reference Ocarina of Time, but still, I think it's pretty cool. But whatever. So the basement will seal itself again in order to prevent evil from coming back there. But also, all these enemies have respawned, so... Wrong button. Dude, I am trying to get something here. Now, for the record, I don't think you actually have to fight these guys. Uh, if you want to, you can. This is also a good time to get the uh, Knight's Crest that you need from the Dark Nuts. Because you only need 10, but that's actually pretty easy to do. Alright, hold on a second here. That's easier. Wow, this guy is a genius.
This is also a pretty interesting uh, soundtrack. I know I'm not talking a lot. I've been sick for a while, but I know this is also a pretty interesting uh, soundtrack if you listen to it. Well, not this battle soundtrack, but the actual one. How are we doing on Knight's Crest, by the way? Seven? Alright, that's not too bad. There are points where you can actually find a lot more dart nuts than what's just in here. But if you can get ten right here, then that would be obviously really beneficial because you wouldn't have to do it later. And obviously not fighting them, fighting multiple ones at once would also make this a lot easier. Alright, so I think that gives us 9. If you try to go up this way, which is something actually almost at the very end of the game, uh, you'll be prevented from doing so. I just wanted to point that out. In case anybody was wondering, hey, what's over here? Uh, yeah, you can't figure that out yet. That's pretty much at almost the very end of the game. Not quite the end of the game, but that is the final area, I believe. There we go, there's another dark nut. Let's see if I can get him to pick up a sword because you can't, uh, you can't actually, uh, do that parry unless he has a sword. Dude! Pick up your sword, you fool. Uh, 
Oh, that's gotta hurt. Okay, we still got the Knight's Crest, so all's well that ends well, I suppose. I would prefer to take it from him with the grappling hook because you're guaranteed to get it if you do that, and if you don't, then it's not guaranteed that you'll get that item. <laughs> Jump down there, just slash him once and he dies. Oh, okay, you did have to defeat all of them. Okay, it wasn't just my imagination. So you do have to defeat all of them to uh, get to that next, or get back to the era we previously were at. For anybody that is wondering, uh, I can give you a little bit of a preview here. Just show you what's ahead much, much later on in the game. That's all I'm able to show you, though, is this. Because, well, obviously this is as far as I can go for right now. So, yeah. That is a small preview of what will come in the very, very distant future. And I do mean very. I mean, it's a long time before we get over there. I believe you'll have all, if not most, of your hearts by then. Pretty much all, every item that you have, I mean, that is the final part of the game right there, so. And that's not really revealing anything too major, it's not like, that's a huge spoiler or anything. This game's been out for, what, nine years now? It was made in 2002, it's 2011, so. I'm probably not telling you anything you didn't already know. And that area is gone for now, in, uh, in order to protect it from Ganon. So, next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, we're going to go do some side questing. See you guys then.